And in this particular case, uh, we're giving viewers the 411 on a mashup of stormtroopers, Chewbacca, B-list actors, all from the late 70s, throwing it all together for a CBS Christmas special. What could possibly go wrong, right? Well, this special was apparently so bad it never saw the light of day again until the Internet came along. And that's one of the producers of Napoleon Dynamite saw it and eventually thought, you know what, I need to make a documentary on this. In a time long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, it was 1978 and it was Hollywood. But that's when CBS decided to do a Star Wars themed Christmas special. It's this like fever dream of like old elderly CBS stars from the 70s mixed with like Star Wars before it knew what it was. A variety special George Lucas apparently signed off on. Lucasfilm is still saying Mark Rush was talking about him. Nobody is allowed to mention this. No, you don't remember. It is so bad, it's not good. It's a mixture that doesn't work well. It's, the, it's not like you discovered like chocolate and peanut butter. It's like you discovered like chocolate and gasoline and it's not something that anyone wants. And it never aired again, relegated to the dark side. The nightmarish memories of those who actually watched it and embarrassed TV executives. That is until the internet made this special rise again like a Jedi survivor. When filmmaker Jeremy Kuhn saw it, he knew the time was right and the force was with him to make a documentary. I just had so many questions when we started out on this. I knew that doing a documentary, I was surprised no one made a documentary about it before. I used to put my faith in worship. As executive producer and editor of the cult hit Napoleon Dynamite, Jeremy knew he could raise the money to make the film and make it work. Like we pitched Napoleon Dynamite, people thought it was the dumbest thing ever. And then they see it, they're like, oh, this is great. And like every film I've done has been that way. This one's no different. Every time we've gone through this, like the we've done 14 festivals and the reception's always been off the charts. Due to legal issues, there are only a few select clips of the special in the documentary. But Jeremy did interview some 70s variety TV stars, including Donny Osmond. You can catch all of this during a free screening of the documentary, A Disturbance in the Force, tonight, at the Salt Lake City Library. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you should love it. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, it's this fun time capsule of what bad 70s variety TV was like. So if you were alive during that time, it's really nostalgic. If you weren't alive during that time, uh, you can see how crazy and wild it was. Yes, uh, a disturbance in the forest screening tonight for free, 7 p.m. at the Salt Lake City Library, but you do need to register online. We've got a link to that on our website. Fox13now.com, and guys, oh, by the way, neither of you old enough to remember that time long ago in, in a galaxy far away, but 13 million people tuned in to watch that special, and the vast majority of them were thinking, what was George Lucas thinking? So, <laughs> yeah, guys, it should be a pretty fun, pretty fun film. Yeah, 13 million people tuned in, but I wonder how many people clicked <laughs> off after the first 10 minutes, you know? <laughs> Just, wow. Come and on, Dan, there were no clickers back then. You actually had to get up. You had to get up. Yeah. So, so, I'll just sit here and watch this until my uh, TV dinner is done. <laughs> <laughs> You're sound well, pretty Yeah. yeah.